like this, it will initiate the landing. Okay, so if you're built near the rocks, what will happen is, is that it will just spawn through them. And as you can see, I am landing my ship underwater. Okay, this is a really, really good thing to build yourself a private secure facility. Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Now today's video is something a bit different. We're currently back in No Man's Sky and I'm going to show you something that somebody on my Discord asked me today and it was a very, very um, legitimate question. Now they were currently having problems with NPCs landing on their landing pads, okay? And they wanted to know where they can put a landing pad where an NPC won't land onto it, okay? Obviously, it was a private location. They didn't want anybody come to land there, and that's that's a fair fair enough thing. There's and not many people not many people who started the game know this. Okay, this is like a um, it's kind of like an OP secret that quite a few people know about, but not that many. But what I'll do is I'll show you where you can put a landing pad, and basically you, you nobody will land on it but you. And it'll be top secret as well, which is awesome, isn't it? So, basically, I put a base computer down here under the water. Now, you have to understand that when you're flying on your ship above the surface of water, you cannot land your ship anywhere on water unless there's a landing pad on top of the water. The same goes for NPCs. They cannot land under the water. Okay, so what we're going to do on this video is... I'm going to delete this landing pad, as you can see I built one down here. I'm going to delete this one, and then we're going to build a build, a standard underwater build by scratch. So I'm going to delete this now, So, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put go to our underwater building. As you can see, I've been mining pearls down here, or cl clams, I usually get them from underwater and did you know guys that about 80 percent of the bases that i build when i'm exploring are under the water because i just find them a lot better and a lot easier just sticking bases underwater strangely enough that's what i do so what you need to do is you need to get a deep underwater chamber okay you've got two you've got a square and you've got a cylindrical one a, a, a circular a circular one or you've got a square one okay so pick whichever you want it's up to you i pick the circle one okay so we'll drop this down onto the base of the floor okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to build one above it okay then i'm going to delete the bottom one then what you need next is you need to have a um we need to go back into here we need one of these water we'll build a moon pool floor because you're going to need to get in and out to start with so we'll build this you can you can delete this at any time I prefer to have the moon pools because uh, I just think they're good, okay? The the They're easy to get in and out of. So I'll build a moon pool. Well, it's up to you if you want to put other base parts on this, but I'm just showing this as a demonstration. Now, what you need to do now is you need to go and get a watertight door, okay? So we'll put a watertight door there. I don't think it's going to be good there. I'll put it there. Watertight door. So we've got a watertight door in, okay? So now you can swim, not just down there, but you can swim along here and out of here, okay? Which is good because that's what we need, okay? So you've got your watertight door in. Then what you need to do next is, is pretty simple, and this does actually work, guys, so I'm going to show you. What we need to do is we need to go into here and we need to build ourselves a landing pad. So you drop a landing pad on, and yes, guys, you can actually build landing pads under the water. Now, NPCs will not be able to uh, land here. So uh, it's a private area for you. So it does actually say landing pad not clear. That's probably because I've got stuff built in the middle of it. But here we go. So I bring the ship in, the living ship. As you can see, my living ship now is coming underwater, and I accidentally shot my living ship. Okay, so you can you can't fly underwater, but it pushes you out to the surface like this. Okay, so you're thinking elite, but how do I land my ship? Well, that is to do with a bit of fancy piloting. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. 
So if you look at your base computer, you fly towards your base computer, but when you come into your base computer, fly very low to the lowest part of the ocean, like this, and absolutely hit your land button loads of times. And if you're lucky, like this, it will initiate the landing, okay? So if you're built near the rocks, what will happen is, is that it will just spawn through them. And as you can see, I am landing my ship underwater, okay? This is a really, really good thing to build yourself a private secure facility. If it's far enough under the water, like this is, then it's an absolute must, okay? And then all you do is you jump out of your ship and you fly over to your base, okay? And then you can do all the additional stuff that you want to do with your base, like put extra... Um, you, the good thing, I'm going to also show you in this video what you can do. So you can put extra of these in, so you can put uh, a tunnel. I'm going to put a tunnel down there. And then what I'm going to do is, there's one thing that a lot of people don't know and don't realise in the game, is that cuboid rooms actually work underwater okay so they can work as an additional room so you can actually build these under the water and they won't fill up with water these things they're, they're amazing for that and especially the glass ones so now you can create yourself a perfect underwater base like this and then if you want if you've got the resources which i don't think i have i might have yes i have I'm going to put one of these glass things here, like an observation post. So I think I'll put it over this side. You're going to need an observation post. Sometimes it clips in, sometimes it doesn't. So there we go. And I'll put that there. So there we go, guys. It only went a bit watery because I was uh, in the building camera. But there we go, guys. That is how that works. And that is amazing, isn't it? So now you've got yourself an underground complex with a landing pad you ship outside storms can't hurt you npcs can't bother you and you basically got a perfect base isn't that awesome guys brilliant isn't it so there you go so that's a, a cool little tip video from for you tomorrow i'm going to crack on with um uh do, 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 space engineers and then i'll do another no man's sky I'll, I'll alternate them i'll do them alternate videos or I'll try anyway so there you go guys well thanks so much for watching the video if you like this video don't forget to like the video if you like my content don't forget to subscribe and i will see you on the next one bye